Today I'm going to go over how to use a combination of the brush tool along with some pixelate filters to create some unique abstract uh, borders for a photo. A lot of filters in Photoshop, uh, you know, you apply them to a photo and sometimes they kind of look hokey. It depends on what your uh, look, what look you're going for, whether a texture or, or whatnot. And a lot of them you can preview if you just go to filter, you know, artistic, and it'll it'll show a lot of those, not all of them as a preview. But um, with this one, it's going to be a little bit more of a subtle technique. Go ahead and open up a photo that you'd like to add a border to. Next step is just click Create a New Layer on the bottom of the Layers palette. If you don't see that, just go to Window, then Layers. Next, select a foreground color that'll go somewhat with your photo here. And then select the Brush Tool. And I chose a Soft Edge Brush. And you can change the size up there or you can press left or right bracket but what I'm gonna do is just click and drag around the edge here and just kind of a soft edge brush around the edge and I just wanna add some pixels here that we can work with in the pixelate menu later okay so you got kind of a hazy border there next go to filter pixelate and then pointalize and you need to just click and drag with the hand tool here in the in the preview and you'll see what the preview will look like and you can adjust the cell size to different sizes if you want once you have a size that you like go ahead and hit OK alright and then next you want to change this blending mode uh, and you can experiment with the different ones you know multiply for example color burn and experiment with the different layer blending modes and see what you can come up with. Uh, you can do overlay for example. If you think it's too strong of a effect, you can also change the opacity. All right. So I'm going to click down here and just show you all of them as you go through. All right. So if you go to for example uh, screen or overlay is pretty good and I'll bring the opacity down a little bit. It just makes it a little bit more subtle and you can also change the fill if you want to bring the fill down but I'm just keep it 100% for that example so that's one example it kind of adds a little bit of an interest around the edges alright I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag that to the garbage can to delete that layer create a new layer I'll show you a different example I'm gonna do the same thing on this new layer click and drag a soft edge brush around the edges I'm gonna add a little bit of content over here for some difference in the corners there alright then go ahead and go to filter pixelate and mosaic and it creates a kind of subtle and you see it previewed over here kind of a subtle pixelated look maybe uh, some business brochures or uh, it kind of has that old-school video game look alright I'm just gonna hit OK and that's a little strong, so what I'm going to do is again change the layer blending mode. So I'm changing it there by clicking on it and then press the down arrow to cycle through these different blending modes and you can see what are some possibilities. So you have color dodge for example. And if you think the effect is a little bit strong, bring that opacity down slightly and you can kind of have more subtle effect there. All right. So those are two uh, techniques for creating kind of an abstract border around a photo for some interest, whether you're making one for a brochure or a website publication. Uh, go ahead and experiment uh, with all the other ones too. You can just go to Filter and Pixelate and try all those different effects there after you draw some content on the new layer above it. Thank you.